the Catalan opening is probably one of the most dynamic and most beautiful openings that you can play. It's so sharp, it's so amazing, it's so tactical in the beginning, and there are cool many sidelines that you can play from whites and from blacks perspective. Even some exchange sacrifices are possible in the early stage of the game, and the Catalan opening has, I think, its own rules. It has its basic rules, and one of the most important rules, I think, is to not give up your most powerful piece in the Catalan opening, which is, of course, the likes for bishop you've played uh, g3 and then you play bishop to g2 and basically your likes square bishop is supposed to be the best minor piece on the board and never never you should really give up your likes square bishop for your opponent's knight maybe you should trade off the likes square bishop for your opponent's maybe a uh, bad knight on the board you can maybe trade off the likes square bishop at least for your opponent's likes square bishop but never really never for the knight that's one rule that i used to apply uh when i played the Catalan opening with the white pieces but stockfish to they will break the basic concept, will break the basic rule, will break the basic law of uh, the Catalan opening here. Stockwish will give up in this beautiful game that I prepared for you today against Halogen. An amazing positional trades of pieces which leads into complications for Black. Really an impossible, impossible trades of pieces where Stockwish will give up the light square bishop, the powerful uh, Fianchetto bishop in the Catalan for his opponent's knight. So let's see now the game with the white pieces. Uh, the fish open with the move d4. Halogen uh, response was d5. And after a couple more moves, the grain transposed uh, uh, from the Slav defense into the Catalan opening, but the open Catalan with D takes C4 uh, simply trading off the pawns in the center of the board with the continuation, of course, with the move C6. So now Stockfish continues with the move Bishop to G2. We have E6, Kingside casting, and now Halogen simply protects now the pawn on C4, is hoping to get this extra pawn, A6. Bishop to b7, uh, bishop to e7, king side castling, knight from b to d7, maybe queen to b6, and then slowly but surely, of course, use this four versus two pawn majority that black is here on the queen side, and then eventually storm with his pawns uh, here on this side of the board. On the other hand, for the lost pawn, white has, of course, the dynamic possibilities in the center of the board because white is here, uh, sorry, white is here a two versus one pawn majority so basically white should attack somehow here the uh, uh, the center of the board but if possible also here the king side on the flank so these are the basic concepts of this types of structure so a4 stockfish is not tolerating of course the spaces that black has here on the queen side here uh, halogen simply continues with bishop to uh, b7 competing against this powerful light square bishop of white we have now the move knight to e5 of course uh, this move prevents maybe knight to d7 immediately because then of course a takes uh, b5 could happen this long diagonal is liberated so it's really a nice positional move so we have a6 simply as promised fixing the structure in the center of the board and now again stockfish competes against his pawn majority plays now the important move b3 we have uh, c takes b3 bishop to b2 First, developing the piece, not uh, taking out the pawn immediately. Stockfish simply relies better on this piece activity than maybe just to grab some pawns. So, knight from b to d7. And this is immediately a positional threat by black. If you don't re react correctly, then of course knight takes e5. After d takes e5, the queens would be traded off um, here immediately. I think in an early stage of the game, you should try to avoid uh, the trades of queens. You should complicate things further with the white pieces. You're playing an aggressive opening and when the queens are off the boards of course then the attack splashed and of course you don't have so many so many attacking opportunities so that's why knight to d2 locking of course now the d file we have knight takes e5 d takes e5 and from this point on okay white has the double pawn structure on the e file white has some structural weakness I, I would say but when you think about it harder white produced also a very important idea created now a five versus four pawn majority attack on the king side and this is the way they go this is really a beautiful unbalanced really beautiful dynamic position in the catalan opening and the problem for black i think always in these types of positions is, is that black doesn't have a good square for the king where are you going to castle if you castle king side then as i said white is storming with this five versus four pawn majority casting queen side is of course a suicide because already the files are open here the files are very very um, exposed you can use the c file uh, a file uh, d file probably this diagonal so in my opinion castle queen side is just for really really 
the bravest i think you get destroyed probably in the next couple of moves if you manage even somehow to castle on the queen on queen side so as i said it's really hard for black now to secure the king that's the issue here first of all you have to also secure the knight knight on d5 but also notice that this knight on d5 will not stay there forever that's the issue we can always use uh, this method the, to play the move e4 if we wouldn't have maybe this pawn on uh, e2 still then the knight would be perfectly fine the knight would be centralized the knight would be cemented simply around this beautiful square but now e4 still is a progress e4 is still a possibility to kick away this knight so queen to b3 finally taking out uh, the pawn you see also it um, creates a new attack against the bishop on b7 if you play of course b takes a4 then the bishop could be lost so bishop to e7 knight to e4 targeting immediately the main uh, structural weakness in uh, black's position which is of course the weak c5 square and also the weak d6 square so these are the two obvious weaknesses these are the two obvious targets now in black's camp and look how the fish is now playing this beautiful beautiful game here after move kingside casting stockfish plays in a beautiful move bishop to d4 supporting simply further the attack around the square c5 but now the bishop gets exposed here a little bit on the d file and now halogen uses this moment and plays now the move knight to f4 but stockfish as i said breaks the basic rule breaks the basic law of uh, the Catalan opening gives up now uh, here the light square bishop but plays the blockade uh, here with the move bishop to c5 and basically stockfish paralyzes its opponent light square bishop here on the queen side really really wild stuff as i said c5 weak but also d6 is weak halogen accepts the chance we have knight takes g2 stockfish first creates a tempo against the queen but supports of course the further attack uh, around the square d6 so we have now queen to e8 the queen is uh, really on a strange place and now after move king to g2 look at the c5 is never a possibility to maybe liberate uh, somehow the light square bishop so uh, stockfish solved the problem that stockfish lost the light square bishop by paralyzing its opponent piece that could maybe attack the light square it's of course the light square bishop of black so really really stunning this move has never been played in chess history this move or this position has never been reached in chess history really an amazing uh beautiful position line here uh played by stockfish 16. so a5 here halogen is desperately trying to get the bishop somehow into the game maybe through the square a6 but stockfish uh, simply plays f3 locks out now this diagonal plays queen to e3 after move h6 now comes this weakness d6 square as we said now after bishop to d6 the rook comes beautiful into the game and still this knight is staying on this side of the board where it cannot of course attack uh here the king side so we have queen to e7 rook from a to d1 we have now um b takes a4 and okay when we watch now the structure black has here three extra pawns on the queen side but these are immobile pawns these are weaknesses so even if you start to push them we will take them so it's not so dangerous what black created here here comes the danger uh like um like they say in in this uh in this uh, series i i'm not endangered i'm the danger uh look at this afro move um b takes a4 look at this now stockfish plays a beautiful move knight to f6 and from this point on the position is falling apart you have to accept now the challenge if you don't do that then queen to e4 is going to happen look at this king to h8 uh here after queen to e4 finally the halogen engine took now uh the knight on f6 but stockfish now includes uh the queen beautiful into the game and now uh here you cannot take because of uh, the queen is hanging you can also um not do anything here queen to h6 is also a huge threat so that's why here the halogen engine had to play now king to h7 if you play king to g7 then it's not so good then you're getting exposed on uh, on the g file so you have to basically hide behind the h pawn you have to play king to h7 stockfish takes out now the pawn on f6 uh, here we have queen to e8 and now uh queen to e4 another check against the king king drops back and after a couple of repetitions and king to h8 now stockfish plays the correct move rook to d7 this move is now very important in the further progress of stockfish attack because let's see just one bad move a3 or something then the issue is here this one queen to h4 again you play king to h7 but now rook to e7 and this threat we should really memorize because this is now the main concept of the stockfish attack here for instance the queen drops back on b8 but now we threaten the checkmate 
on g7 when the rook comes here on g8 then this pawn can be taken so with the move rook to e7 the queen gets actually deflected from the defense of the square f7 this is the way they go and now after king to g8 now rook to f7 as we said now the queen is coming into the game and you can just prolong the game maybe by sacrificing some material but this is game over queen to h7 is going to happen for sure so after rook to d7 um, as said we have bishop to e2 stockfish uh, so pawn intelligence is trying now to deflect somehow the pieces but stockfish is not interested into anything here play simply queen to e3 threatens immediately the checkmate we have bishop to f3 halogen simply sacrifices the piece but now after king to f3 still the threat remains you have to now play king to h7 after queen to e4 actually in this position the halogen engine resigns so what's the issue uh, again we are trying the same pattern for instance we deliver a couple of checks queen to e4 again queen to h4 but now after king to h7 we have to play a very important move king to g2 so this wasn't played in the actual game but i wanted to show really the continuation what would have happened and now after something like rook to b8 now again this pattern is working uh rook to e7 deflecting now the queen from the uh, from the defense of the f7 and then queen to g4 followed with rook to f7 so this would be uh of course the main winning idea if you try check then we can always hide here even to uh on the square h3 so as i said the, in in the previous position the halogen engine resigns so incredible incredible game here played by the fish i really love this uh beautiful cut on opening game giving up even the powerful life for bishops just in order to occupy the main weakness in black's position this really weak square on d6 really epic epic position but also tactical game here also the stunner came knight to f6 getting uh, the knight in a beautiful way into the game queen to h6 we saw uh e takes f6 created really a beautiful checkmate pattern so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot if you're interested into this catalan opening please check out our studies i have analyzed uh, recently many many uh, ideas and uh, we have created many videos about this amazing chess opening please check it out from the beginning from the intro video part one part two part three and so on and if you want to see more brutal epic and the sharp tactical games like this check out our comedy chess games played by computer series uh here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what do we say chess is the best of course